Uptime is a key component of industrial automation and process control systems. It is imperative that you consider the impact of downtime to your system and plan accordingly. Application Server, being a key component of System Platform, has a strategy for fault tolerance. Telemetry Server also has redundancy support to ensure that you maximize the uptime characteristics of your system. In this video, you will learn how to configure a redundant system. You will need to configure Application Server as well as Telemetry Server to be redundant to maximize your system uptime. In another video, we describe the syntax used in the attribute references. Part of that syntax includes the alias or scope name to be used for Telemetry Server. You must ensure that both nodes hosting Telemetry Server will be configured to have the same name. In this case, we replace the individual node names with R-ATS01, which will be common in both nodes. This high-level diagram explains the normal behavior and alternate behaviors in case any of the components in the main node, in this case ATS002, become unavailable. We will now demonstrate the configuration of the software. We have here a pair of nodes that will be configured to run as our runtime redundant partners. Node ATS002 is configured as the main node and node ATS003 is going to be configured as the standby node. Now, both of these nodes will be running a pair of application server platforms with the respective redundant engines, as well as the pair of telemetry server configuration. As you can see here, this uh, particular node already has the configuration or part of the configuration for my project or sample configuration. ATS003, although it has telemetry server installed, has nothing in it. It is very important to note that as part of the configuration of redundancy of telemetry server, you must configure the main node first, the one that has the configuration. Because when they sync, that first node that uh, is configured first is the one that's going to push the configuration to the other node. So let's go ahead and start with that setting. We will now launch the server configuration panel for our main server. In the Server Configuration panel, under System Configuration, we will access the Partner Setup. Here, the first thing that we're going to do is select the type of configuration that we're going to use. We're going to set it for the hot standby configuration. Please ensure to back up your project prior to performing this operation. Failure to follow these steps precisely may result in loss of configuration of your system. In the name slash IP address section, we enter the IP address or node name of our standby node. The next part that would need to be configured here is part of the platform configuration service. This is configuring the scope name that will be used in our app in application server to reference the pair of nodes. And we have to ensure that the scope name being used is identical on both the main node and the standby node. We will be selecting to keep the name of the main node as the common scope name on both sides. We could choose to change it to a different node name altogether, but the key part is that both the main and the standby have to share the same scope name. Right now that we have finished that, we'll go ahead and shut down and restart the service. Again, very important to do this first before switching over to do the operation on the standby server. Okay, we'll now move to the standby node and perform the same operation here.
and again we set the IP address of our partner and in the global parameters now in this particular case since we decided to keep the scope name of our main node as is we have to match that uh, node names so we're going to use ATS002 here all right now we can shut down and restart the service Now you notice here that the service is starting up. The first thing that it's going to try to do is going to try to synchronize with the main server. This operation should only take a couple seconds. You notice that it's stuck here in the synchronization state. I actually uh, wanted to make sure that I share the step with you. The reason for that is in this particular scenario, the firewall is preventing the synchronization to to happen between the nodes so we're going to actually add a rule in our firewall to allow the nodes to communicate with one another so we have to add an inbound rule on both sides to enable port 5481 which was the port that was used in the main standby configuration when we added that rule We'll do the same here on the other node. Once we add uh, the inbound rules, the nodes should be able to communicate with one another. The node is up and running and the icon that displays the status is slightly different and it shows that it's running as a standby. If we go look in our other node, uh, you'll notice that it's running as main. And I'll launch the configurator again. Now you can see that this configurator has the information uh, same as the other one. You can actually edit in either telemetry server uh, ATS002 or 3 and the configurations will sync up. All right, so let's go ahead now and switch to our uh, application server Galaxy repository node where we have the, the system platform configuration that we'll deploy. I have already prepared both platforms, telemetry server ATS002 and ATS003. I just as a refresher for system platform redundancy, one, you have to configure the IP addresses of the platform themselves, the redundant IP addresses to be the network card of the own, of its own computer. So just to be clear here, for the first node, for our main node, the secondary network interface card, that's its IP address, which is what we use to configure its redundancy. For the second node, and we'll show the same thing, 
the secondary IP address is 10.228.1.1.8.12, which is what we use here. And then the last part of enabling redundancy is the engine redundancy itself. We want to ensure that we enable that in the engine configuration. For the object itself, nothing changes in this case because we chose to continue to use the same reference that we were using before for, for the node name. But in case you had chosen to, to use a different scope name in your redundant configuration, then you will come here and edit that reference. Now we can go ahead and deploy the object. And we can see here that the data is coming in. As a test, let's go ahead and shut down the uh, one of the uh, nodes. We'll stop the service. And by doing so, we should notice that this service has become a main server. Also, if we refresh the configuration of the standby service, we notice that it has synced with the main service. Then you just notice that the data came back and it's up and running again. So that concludes the redundant configuration of Telemetry Server. Thanks for watching.